Florida homeowners aren't seeing much of a break in this economy. 90,000 more homes went into foreclosure in the third quarter of the year, making Florida's foreclosure rate the worst in the country. One in every 10 American homeowners is either at least one month behind in their mortgage or facing foreclosure. For some, those staggering numbers represent more, a friend, a family member, maybe even yourself. CBS 4's Tiffany Helberg spoke to a local mother of five, foreclosed upon and evicted with nowhere to turn. My seat in the front, they can see, they sit in the top of the all, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Laura Melendez has her life in her car. Three of her children packed in with all that she could take before getting evicted from this homestead townhouse. Okay, the bank foreclosed on it after Melendez says her husband left her and she could not afford the mortgage. I stay with all the bills and with my, with my check I can pay. A large car note, mortgage, and mounting bills ultimately forced the mother of five boys onto the streets one night. Alone and cold, the family didn't know where to turn. That day, ooh, so cold. I give my jacket to them, and some guy gave me his jacket. At her wit's end, Melendez recalled her breakdown that night, her sons caressing her to ease the painful memory. And I call, I do a lot of stuff. I call. One time I called 911 and told, you know, I need help. A Department of Children and Family Services worker came out to meet with her, elevating her fears. I don't care the situation. I want to stay with my kids. I feel better with my kids. And she did. Melendez and her kids found their way here to the Community Partnership for the Homeless. And when I come here, they open the door for me. Thank God. Giving the family a tiny room of four bunk beds to lay their heads and rest a temporary respite from a savage economy. A lot of stuff happened, but it's okay. If everybody be together, you know, everything okay. And unfortunately, President-elect Barack Obama spoke out today predicting that the economy is only expected to get worse in the immediate future, pushing more people like Melendez into homeless shelters. Tiffany Helberg, CBS 4 News.